Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU4, the third realm, playing as Moravia. Took a heck of a lot more land in the last video and we decided to pick a fight with Mexico. Debatably not the best course of action given the fact that I have no easy way of getting to them besides traveling all the way around freaking South America. But it's fine. They'll just siege down all my colonies for a while and eventually we'll catch up and we'll beat the crap out of them. It'll be fine. I mean, they already killed all the Canadians, but, I mean, they're just Canadians, right? It's probably okay. Castilian peasants. Ugh, so annoying. Ugh, gotta kill all these peoples. Um, oh, by the way, I found an army. I didn't realize I had left an army up here in uh, Sweden for so darn long. So, we found another set of troops. Let's go ahead and bring them down. Uh, very soon, our truce with Scandinavia will expire. And we'll be able to devour them. I'm just going to feed them off entirely to Helrod, uh, Holland, and the Livonian Order. No reason for me to take any more of this at this point. And it's pretty darn cheap land, too, so... I mean, the total war score cost is like 54%. So we'll easily full annex them in the next major war. France is the big one, but that's until 1754. Ottomans also 1754. And Morocco 1757. So it's going to be a while before we can do much. So I'm going to kill Mexico... Feed my uh, colonial nations a bit, and then we'll probably go kill Mogadishu or something like that and feed them off to somebody new. Again, the big goal here is just not to take any land myself. Anything I don't have to take, why take it? Right? That's sort of the idea here. So anyway. Uh, Alright, so we have some troops on the way, it looks like. Here we go. First round. Uh, let's land up here to the north. What level fort do you have here? Oh, level one. Oh, California's going to fall over nice and quick, ain't they? California. Not doing a good job. Whoa. Did you just lose? You lost something. Looks like Canada's trying to train up some mercs, which makes sense. Why'd they just lose control of the desert? Did they lose a colony or something? They might have lost a colony. Things like that can happen. Uh, General died. Crap. Alright, well, let's get some troops over here. I guess I could go ahead and hire a new one. 95 army tradition. We've been doing shockingly well on the army tradition. I think it's just because we keep fighting so many gosh dang wars. A 4363, that's pretty solid. I can't complain about that. Alright, we've landed. These men have no leader. Solved that problem. And they are fleeing from me. Flee, Mexicans, flee! Split, 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 go here, 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 and here. We're gonna unseach some of this crap. Hey, look! Alaska and Utrecht have gotten together. This is a perfect opportunity to grab Mexico. Kill him! Fortification effort for the rest of the game. Yeah, sure, why not? That's fine. Okay, they have decided rather than engage, they are going to flee through Tachi. Ah, that's probably fine. Let's go ahead and free up California first. Hey, look. Troops. You decided to land them here, huh? Oh, sure. Sure, that makes sense. Rather than take them all the way around where I told you to, you decided to go into enemy waters and drop them off here so they could walk all the way across Mexico. Genius AI! Genius! Paradox really needs to work on the um, naval stuff of their games. And I'm not just talking about EU4, okay? I'm talking freaking like Hearts of Iron 4 and stuff like that. Crusader Kings 2. Naval stuff has always been the weakest part of their game. No doubt about it. Hey, Scandinavia. Imperial! Oh, wait, wait, that's a conquest war. There we go. Imperialism! Problem solved. Okay, uh, I got troops that were here in Norway that I forgot about for a while. I'm sorry, boys. Moi. Uh, let's go ahead and get someone to their capital. Where's their capital? Oh, good grief. Where is their capital? Capital is all the way up here. Oh, that's inconvenient. No problem. I'm going to siege that all down. Might as well finish them off while we're doing all of this. Yes. I see no reason to delay. All right. California has been liberated under my watchful tutelage. Uh, let's get ready to go and kill Mexico. So they have two armies that are currently split. I am actively sieging a beachhead. Good job. Let's get a siege general in charge that can work on the capital. Ayish? I don't actually know what the heck that is, but it's okay. Um, everyone go here. I need you all to stack up for a second. Okay, uh, take, uh, let's say you. And let's get in a position to try and posture between his armies. I don't want them joining up. 
If they join up, he can just go around in a Protoss Death Ball and murder everybody. Which is obviously not optimal under any other circumstance. Canada, have you got troops? Well, they have some troops coming together. They're actually training up pretty well. Nicely done, Canada. They are a hearty people. They recover quickly. All right, how are we looking for unrest? Got a fair bit still going on. Lots up here. Oh, boy. That's fun to deal with. How about over here? Pretty bad. This is looking pretty good, though. Go here. We already sieged down your capital. Uh, do you have any troops? You do. Where'd they go? There they are. Split, actually, no. Just group up. Let's go kill his troops. If you can route him, I'll let Austria and everyone else take care of the rest. Funge! Oh, boy. These are some big armies. Okay. I can probably handle it, though. All right? Probably. You know what I could do is turn on Force March so I can get down here faster. Portugal? Portugal? You're a vassal of Mexico! How dare you? It's probably fine, though. Uh, we want a siege of their capital. Good. All right. Troops, convene. We shall do a pincer maneuver. It is a brilliant tactic that I just made up based on the events of real life, probably. Did we sack wipe them? I didn't actually pay attention. I, I think we might have, actually. Let's just go for that fort. I'll let the rest of my vassals handle Scandinavia. They're going to be pretty darn easy. Why do we have minus seven? Did we lose a lot of battles? We did. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Brandenburg, the Livonian Order, and Austria all lost their fights. Big time. Huh. Well, I guess we have a bit of ground to make up then, don't we? What's going on down here? Oh, hello, Mexican ships. What do you think you're doing? I don't know. Come on, pincer maneuver. It's a Baristani revolt. No, no, no. Okay, you're going to go up here. We're going to catch him. No, they're going to kill the Canadians again! Canada, no! I don't think I can save them, though. Uh, we had some more rebels. Crap, where were they? Hostile sieges. Aha! Oh, God, it's a big one. Okay, there's that. Uh, we need to get some more troops. You guys, come down here. 39,000 is a, uh, a lot of men. We might be able to help handle them depending on their tech level, but that's pretty much it. All right, so it looks like we are going to be able to trap his 25,000 troops here. Overwhelming numbers, pincer maneuver! Uh, hang on. And he converts some more Muslims. Thank you! And stack wipe. Okay. Now we save Canada. Or it might be too late. We avenge Canada. New advisor. Stability cost? No. Prestige? Meh. Production? No. National unrest sounds nice right about now. Wouldn't mind putting a bit of that down. Okay, we got some Tiberistanis. These guys are all about to die. There's that. Uh, sit tight for a second. I don't think I have a fort over here. No, I do not. All right, let's unseed you. Bunch of cores are done. Good. That's going to relieve my... Ah, crap. That's going to relieve my overextension a fair bit. So I think he completely stack wiped Canada again. I'm so sorry, Canada. I really am. Uh, and these guys are flooding Scandinavia. So they're going to fall apart pretty quick. So that's easy. Now we just pretty much wait to deal with some rebels. Declining elephant population. Who's trying to kill Babar? I don't know, that was the first elephant name I could think of. Shut up. Probably fine. Regency Council and Comanche. They are going to be dead pretty soon. Okay, do we need a general? Wouldn't mind getting one. 11th Army, 27th Army. These these numbers mean nothing to me. I'm going to take you. I'm going to jump on him. Okay, so Mexico went up north. No, where'd they go? They're hiding in the United States. Friggin' Mexicans always crossing the border into the United States. What do you think you're doing? Sorry, that just seemed like a topical joke. I'm not racist, I swear. <laughs> I thought it was funny. All right, Mexico's getting sieged down pretty nicely. Um, the goal, of course, is still to siege Comanche. If I can get up here and take some fights, I probably will. No one wants to work. That didn't cost me much. Okay. Um, go to the capital of Portugal and siege that down real quick. All right, that's done. And rest is under better control. Up 
here. Looking good there. I don't need this general. We are still working down this fort. Otherwise, Scandinavia has been full occupied. Good. And my vassals are just buzzing around. So there's your troops. Found you. Okay. So you're sitting up here in Portugal, are you? Ah, oh, that'll be a mistake. Whoop, crap. I think he jumped on me. Did he just... Wait. I, I, I think he just I think he just stack wiped. I think he walked into my men and he stack wiped. I think that's exactly what just happened. Oh, well, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good indeed. Okay. Let's go there. Go here. So where the rest of your men go, huh? Reveal them to me. Oh hello. Well, Argentina should be able to handle that. If they don't, honestly, they don't really deserve my help now, do they? Uh, still far ahead of time on tech. Nothing I can do over there. Let's go ahead and grab a little bit more developments, which I will translate into extra manpower per month. And once again, Canada is training up their third army in a year. Whoa! Okay, they were here, and I wasn't prepared for it. Uh, I took huge penalties there. Okay, now is the time to retreat. Let's go ahead and do that. Was not... You were treated up here? That's the worst place to go... Okay. Well, yeah, I wasn't expecting them all to jump on that all of a sudden. Good grief. Colonialism against Pasai. They own something I want? Okay. Now, if we can jump on this again, I will do so. Utrecht's nearby. Friendlies attach. Let's see. Can I catch these guys? He's pushing south. He's going after these guys, I think. Okay, Scandinavia is done, but there's no hurry with this, so I'll just go ahead and back off. Take back my general. You can go up here, I guess. Actually, why don't you go help down here? This is going to be a problem, clearly. Lots of rebels. Okay. So he's going after Colombia, I think. If I can chase him down, I will. Mogadishu is selling a province to Yemen. Hmm. Oh, Catholic zealots. Okay. Unnecessary, but okay. Yep, they went after us here. I don't think I can save that. That was a stack wipe. Oh, good, I'm infertile. Hmm. How did that happen? Anyone want to explain that? No? Okay. Okay, can we go kill this real quick? Because I'm tired of these Mahican separatists. The last of the Mahicans? <laughs> oh, no. Khorasani separatists have fired now. Is that so? Alright. Take them down next. So this is a bit of a tough fight. He's got numbers on me. But we're going to go for it anyway. It's all about the rules here. Holy crap. No, Mexico. No, don't do it. He actually lost a lot of infantry. He lost probably more than I did there. But it wasn't enough. Again. Alright, we need to get our armies together. I, I shouldn't be jumping into this like uh, one stack at a time. It's not working out well for me. Or anyone. But let's see if we can clear off these rebels first. Okay, they're dealt with. And now I have more rebels. Right. Okay, go here. Get the armies together. And then I'll be okay. Now, Tlemceni? Gosh freaking dang it. How do they keep getting so many rebels? That's what I want to know. I thought I already killed the Tlemcenis like three times. But apparently I am incorrect. Alright, Canada, you can handle all of this later, right? Pretty sure. Now, I do still have some war score here against Mexico. But I couldn't take a new colonial nation down there, which is what I ultimately would want. Now, the general died. Alright. Let's kill the peasants. They're done. Let's this all back. Reinforcements on the way. 
about to say, did I just lose military access through the United States? Because that could happen. That would be a clever trick of Mexico if they did do that. But no, it's more important we get our troops back together here. I need a death ball and catch out Mexico. I've lost way more men than I have a right to at this point. Not that it's really hurting my bottom line as far as manpower. I'm still hovering around 200,000, but even so. Oh, revolutionaries now, eh? Revolutionaries. Yes. That's what I wanted to see. Okay. Group. Everyone. We're dogpiling him. Go, go, go. Catch him. Uh, I have maxed out Monarch points here. I guess I go for the next idea. Interest per annum is done. Save the rest, though. Still trying to save up for coring things. Hoping this king lasts a long time. 14 admin power is very nice. He's got 50,000 troops stacked up together now. Where are you going? He's going up north. Let's see if I can catch him out. I could force march. That's certainly true. But if he wants to go into my territory, I'm okay with that. Okay, now he's trying to go around up here. He's a slippery little fish. I'll give him that. There you are. Come here. Yeah, I don't want to fight you in the mountains. Do I? I have overwhelming numbers. Fight him in the mountains. There we go. Stack wipe. Okay. Problem freaking solved. Now stay down. Let's siege down all your forts. Actually, we could just try piecing out with him. Nope, he won't do this because reasons. Well, I guarantee you they're not very good reasons. So we'll just take some forts from you. Uh, yeah, this is all part of California, right? No. No, I'm incorrect. This is all part of Mexico. So I don't need these. Those go to California, though. Uh, whatever. We'll just siege him down for a while. It's going to be a little bit longer, but okay. Canada is putting down the revolutionaries, I hope. They have succeeded. Well done, Canada. Truly, you are an inspiration to us all. Okay. Uh, still working with my diplomats. Let's continue working on my subjects. Make them happier. And I'm just going to go siege down all your forts. What do you got? Level 2, level 2. Level 2, level 2, level 2, level 2. This is going to be easy. Capped out on power again. How long until tech? Nine more years. Wow, we are actually doing shockingly well on military power, considering. This is one of the great things about military power, is that I really just don't ever use it that much. The Suez Canal! Yes! Build that Suez Canal. That's going to be so darn useful. I think that recalculates all coring distance things, too. And I'll be able to get right through here. Now, that said, I think Hamburg is technically responsible for its construction. So, hopefully they don't screw up too much. Let's not cancel the Suez Canal. But yeah, that's going to be nice. I like that idea. I like it a lot. Okay, we have a huge advantage going into these forts. Mexico will fall very rapidly from here on out, I think. Improvements in government technology. Yes. One fort down. Genoa. Kill them. An honorable people. Okay, what can I do to placate somebody? Uh, la, 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 great brewer. No, Castile. We are going to pay off your debt, and we're going to placate you. And I'm going to take the prestige back. Thank you. Another fort down. Uh, go here. Nope. Yes, go there. Hey, this is the province of Mexico. In Mexico. Hey, I don't need you guys to stack on me anymore. I think I'm good. Thank you, though. Thank you. I'm good. I'm good to go. Thank you. Yes, that's good. Thank you. Siege of Mexico is over. That took two months. Nice. I can't go there, though. Shoot. Okay. Mexico, you need to give up. I need you to give up now. They are stubborn, though. So stubborn. What do you think you are? Hmm. So what land can I take from Comanche? Probably a lot. Now, some of this is already being taken to them. I'm going to hand these off, though. Make sure I'm not responsible in any way. 
Apparently he already had cores on these. Yeah, sure enough, he did. Oh, well, good. That's gonna make it even easier for you. Can you just core them right back? Nice. Hey, look who's building an army again. I do not appreciate that. Backtrack. We're gonna go stomp him down. Mexico shall not be allowed to rise. Ethiopia also shall not be allowed to rise. Naval engagement increased. Hey, I have another army down here. I'm losing track of all my armies. I've got a lot of them, apparently. After this set of wars are done, uh, I'll hand off some land and then I'll go fight Mogadishu. Okay, that's another one down. You ready to give up yet, Mexico? Because... I mean, I hate to say it this way, but I'm pretty sure this isn't working out well for you. Oh, who am I kidding? I love to say it this way. You suck! Come here. Come here! Come here! I don't feel like chasing you around. It's, 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 it's very exhausting. I don't like working out under the best of circumstances. Oh, are you going for Canada again? I swear to God, if you kill Canada, I have worked hard to keep them alive. You've killed them like four times already. Stop it! Who would have thought that Canada and Mexico were going to hate each other? Yeah, that's right, you come here. Oh, you think you're safe in the savannah, do you? You are wrong. Come here, come here, I'm going to kill you now. And that's the next siege. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll leave an army down here. Because I'm going to have to defend this new colonial nation that I'm about to create. And for the rest of you, let's just stack wipe your army for good measure. Because I don't like your existence. There, stack wiped. Alright. Now you're ready to give up. Yes? Yes. Okay, so we'll give those off to California. And I guess... I guess there's no reason not to make this as strong as possible. Sure, we'll create a new colonial nation down here with quite a few provinces, so it starts off on a pretty good footing. Take some money. Eh, a little bit of money. And that's it for Mexico. Thank you. It's been nice playing with you, sir. Boom. Okay. We'll have to core all of that now. Why am I not able to core this? Oh, there's rebels. I was going to say, I have unlimited coring distance. Shouldn't be a problem. Somehow, it found out a way to be a problem. Hey, look! Mayan! Ooh, the Mayan faith. I haven't been able to experiment with that yet. Awesome. Okay. Come on, Shay. Oh, crap. I need a diplomat. Hang on. Peace you out. I'm going to take over all of this. Give it all back to Colonial Louisiana. Uh, can't really justify taking this. There's no way for you to defend it. So let's go ahead and take this. ba doop ba -doop. I will have you revoke cores against nobody. Uh, stop guaranteeing these guys. Give me your war reps. Nothing else matters. You're out. Okay. You go up here, please. We're going to have to kill these guys next. You're ready to deal with them, so you're good. Now comes the time of giving off land from Scandinavia. Need a diplomat first, and we'll piece them out and hand everything off. Scandinavia is about to cease to exist. Gosh dang it, now we have Zapotec. Get out of here. This is my land, gosh dang it. Okay. Waiting for a diplomat. British La Plata? They did create a new colonial nation. I told you guys that would happen. Alright, those troops are ready to die. And Scandinavia. Full annexation is officially requested. And by requested, I mean demanded at gunpoint. Give me your money. Revoke cores because reasons. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I'll just take as much as I can because prestige reasons. Nothing else actually matters, though. But I'll use this as an opportunity to placate somebody else for a while. Okay, that's 100%. So we're going to get another 18 prestige. Let's go to, let's say, Castile. I'm going to placate you again. And then we are done with Scandinavia. Boom. Okay. Now. I need to hand off all of this stuff. So, Livonian Order. We'll start with you in the south. Again, this is going to take a little while, but here we go. Uh, Callus. Redluga, Vyatka, 
Um, I guess we'll just go around here too. Ooh, uh, mm. something, something else, and I can barely read that one, but this one. Okay. Let's see. Some of this goes to Holland. Holland gets this. Helder gets this. I want to get some of this. Uh, I guess we could give you this one. Sol Galitskaya. This one. And, you know what, we'll go ahead and give you this one as well. Okay, now we go to Holland. Grant. Gargapol. Grant. Velsk. Hotma, Totma, Mamma, Shenkursk, and Sovichetskotsk. Khelra. Gosh dang it, it's reverse alphabetical again. I hate that so much. Soroka, Omega, Mulberry, Zen. Boom! And that's Russia. Russia is done. Okay. Not half bad. I've already got myself backed up to a couple thousand ducats after investing quite a bit in that Suez Canal. And we have yet another merchant to spend. Oh, yeah, hey, hey, hey. Don't I feel like the prettiest boy at prom? I don't know. Transfer trade power from you. I don't care. Money is irrelevant to me at this point. Okay, so with all of that done, uh, I say, ooh, wait a minute, I have to fight quite a few people if we do this. Ooh. Uh, I'm doing kind of okay on unrest. Hmm. Let's get ourselves a new general. Oh my god, a 6-6, six, six, the mythical 6-6, six, six. it happened! We have the ultimate combat general! Such as the world has never seen before. Fighting Mogadishu, Yemen, and Kilwa? They got 80,000 freaking troops. How is that a thing? Kilwa? No! It's insanity. Okay, we're gonna get another army down here. I'm not going to jump on this too quickly. I'm going to wait a minute. We're going to get some troops. We're going to get balanced. You guys are going to dock up for a minute. We're protecting that. Protecting this. I probably should actually start subsidizing these guys again. Because I think that stopped. Five ducats. Canada. Five ducats. Columbia will have to be next. Castile broke their alliance with the Papal State. They're not disloyal anymore, are they? Fun. Uh, yeah, I want to give these guys all some funding. I want them colonizing like mad. That's what I want. Three ducats is probably all you need. Okay, how are we looking for unrest? Uh, am I being sieged down by anything right now? No. Doesn't mean that it's not a problem somewhere, though. Not up here. I heard the sound of rebels, so... I'm not sure where they went, but I know they're somewhere. Huh. I thought they were. There they are. Peasants. I'll go kill the Canadian peasants. It's fine. Okay. So yeah, I think we do go to war with Mogadishu. Because this is the next big chunk of land that I'll be able to take. Yemen, you are allied to Mogadishu as well. Kilwa, you are allied to Ajuran, who is a one province miner, I think. I co belligerize everybody and declare yet again imperialism! And that is where I'm going to end this video. Because we have another big war going on. I'm going to take on this entire chunk of the world, because reasons. Take a whole load of land. Moravia's grown nice and strong. We finished feeding off the vassals up here. We're almost done with Europe itself, just waiting on France in 1754, one more year. And we've done a lot to expand our colonial powers. 
I don't think I'll be able to annex Castile or Great Britain until I have formed the Holy Roman Empire, simply because their liberty desire is going to be really high because of the calculated vassal strength. But once that's done, we'll be able to eventually call them, uh, uh, annex. There we go. Annex all of them. So France is all we're missing from Europe at this point. Just fight Africa. Push east. Profit. That's what we do. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs>